Hey, what is up guys? Back again with another video and today we're going to be reviewing the new NMD R1 PK Winter Wool. Now this NMD has yet to release and will be releasing next Friday. Part of that Winter Wool collection pack that will carry, I believe, a city stock and this one and then also a non-boost sneaker but we're not worried about that. We're going to be looking at the Winter Wool material, first ever on, a, on an NMD. Now we've seen this on the Ultra Boost in the gray one where it had the... Um, the fuzziness and also in the cream ultra boost it featured that too and i believe the soul box ultra boost also has the wool prime knit as well but they haven't done it yet on an nmd prime knit pair so this is the first one and i have it for you early so i believe this is the only review on youtube that actually has this sneaker um i believe i've seen one of the city sock but i haven't seen any videos on the r1 this is a first look and review i will be including it on feet so stay tuned for that and Let's get into this review. All right, so getting into the box, you're gonna see that the box is all matte black. You're gonna have Adidas branding on the front, on the top, and on the sides as well. Usually the NMD boxes that I've been getting have been coming in blue and white. But this one features an all matte black shoe box. The shoe label at the front, NMD R1 PK, 10 and a half, the stock goes to the right. Here's the picture. The picture doesn't represent what the shoe looks like. It looks more like a Japan NMD with a white striped ankle collar. But these shoes do not feature that. But enough of that. Let's just get into the box and get on with the review. All right, so now getting into the shoe, the number one feature on this shoe that differentiates itself from the other enemies that's come out is that this one is now made of a wool prime knit. It is gonna be the same wool prime knit that you found on the gray wool, or even the cream watch boots. It has that fuzzy texture all around the prime knit. It's no different with this. You're gonna have the same fuzziness on the prime knit. As soon as you touch it, feel that. I don't know if I can pick it up, but you can need to pull. You like to focus. I don't know if you hear that, but it's a really nice feeling, especially on an uh, NMD. You're gonna have this, uh, it's almost a camo print, but it doesn't really look it uh, in comparison as in the other. And you can see it has like hints of charcoal gray in there mixed with black. You're gonna have the ankle collar, which on the box has white. But as I was saying before, it, it does not have that where the white is, is charcoal gray. The same long flat laces that always come with NMDs. I personally don't mind them. You're gonna have the EVA uh, foam plugs on the side in black, the DJ branding on the front, along with that boost midsole. Back you have the molded heel tab in black with the Adidas embossed logo. And then you're gonna have the, the tape graphic pull tab with the different languages that's also me black and then something that i thought was pretty cool is that the wording or the, the yeah like the lettering like where you see that charcoal gray parts that's all 3m so in the flash these will all light up which i think that's really nice also as far as the three stripes as well they're also going to be 3m so 3m 3m this um little tape overlay right here in the Towards the front, that's not 3M, just these three stripes and the pull tab. The bottom, same traction as the other NMDs in black with the see-through Bruce windows and the labeling on the bottom. Different languages. This has been my very quick review on the NMD R1 PK Winter Wool. These drop next week, next Friday, September 9th. Don't forget to pick these up. I consider these a must cop. They feel great. Texture is, is on point with the wool. Can't go wrong with the colorway either. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Talk about the channel. Leave a like as it helps the channel out. Um, if, subscribe if you want to see more Adidas or Bruce content as that's what I'll be posting all the time. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the on feet review. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be picking up these sneakers or at least try to. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.